everyone welcome back to one touch bi my name is sarunan vajravel and today in our class we are going to learn how to enable conditional style and create conditional variable and report language variable to be used to dynamically render your report title based on the language selection what you have chosen in the ibm cognos connection my preference content language before we get into the demo let us understand the background that why do we need this exercise suppose you have a report called country wise sales report having these four columns country state email and sales and you have a requirement where the sales kpi should be shown dynamically based on the value range and highlight the cell background with red color anything above 10 lakh and anything is equal to 10 lakh or below 10 lakh i want to show the background of sales column cell with blue background how do i do this and second how do i change my report title based on the language selection that i choose in my cognos connection these are the two things we are going to see in detail in the next couple of minutes without much delay let's quickly head over to my ibm cognos connection home page open your ibm cognos connection and if you have an existing report you just open that report in my case i have already created one sample report edit that report to open in authoring mode before we get into the conditional style let us understand how does my report output look like in order to see my report output all i need to do over here in the top right the page design you change it to page preview as this is a very small report having just three records i can do in this way in other cases if you have launched data in the database you can't proceed with page preview i would recommend you to run the report in this method what you need to do is we need to toggle back every time before you apply the changes to see the result preview so you have to run in this way in case of you have a large volume of data so run this report you will have the idea country is having us and india and sales is having 10 lakh to 30 lakh the value ranges and what i'm going to do i'm going to apply the sales formatting the conditional style by choosing the column sales choose that column in the properties page if this properties is not enabled for you in the top right click on this equalizer settings show properties and click on conditional styles once you click you'll get this pop-up window over here click on the plus new new conditional style you're going to enable the conditional style based on the sales kpi choose that click ok now we need to provide the range let's provide the range by clicking the plus new icon what is that first range i want to make 10 lakh anything between 0 to 10 lakh i can now apply the background what exactly i want so what is my background selection for 0 to 10 lakh it should be blue click on the pencil icon and choose the background color blue and the foreground should be white so that my font will be readable and similarly anything between 10 lakh to the highest value over here click on the edit style choose the background red and choose the foreground white i'm good and provide the name this should be a user-friendly name so that we can refer later what for we have used this so this is a sales conditional format right so i'm going to name this as sales conditional style i'm good click ok click ok there you go the conditional style what we applied it got applied immediate and as you see that anything about 10 lakh it is red and anything is equal to or below 10 lakh it was blue in the background i'm good this is one way you can save the report now the same conditional style i'm going to enable based on the country column 
what is my country column here it is us or india if us is the country value i want to apply the sales background green if india is the country then against the india the value for sales i need to show it in red let's do this exercise let's remove the existing conditional style what we have applied so that we won't be having a confusion that what got applied so let's remove the existing conditional style in order to do that over here click on the three dots choose this and click on this minus delete now it got removed the conditional style is removed immediate there's no style background applied now in order to apply the conditional style variable based on the country column you need to choose against which column you want to apply the conditional background choose that column now you click on the style variable instead of choosing the conditional style click on style variable three dots and over here in the variable choose the string variable you have three types of variable boolean variable string variable language variable language variable is used for rendering the report title or column header label or anything which you have a static label you want to show it based on the language selection in the cognos connection portal using my preference content language based on that if you want to render the display of the label to the different uh, multilingual literals in that case i would recommend you to use the language variable anyways we are going to see that in our next uh, exercise and string variable is used for anything which you want to perform based on a string column so in our case country is a string so we are going to use the country boolean variable is used anything which you have a choice between either true or false so in our case i am not interested on the boolean variable i am going with string variable and name the string variable as str country check and that's my name and click on the plus and what are the values we have noticed in the report output one is us and one is india so these two values i have to list it down as i said this order is not important you can put it in any different order let me put it in reverse i'm making india as the first one and the second value i'm going to keep us these are the two values which holds the country column click ok and what is that expression definition i should map it in order to equate for us or india the column country that is coming from the query one which i actually used for my report display so drag and drop the column country into the expression definition i'm good click on ok that's it now ensure that the column sales the style variable is associated the one which we created just now if in case you are not finding it you again click on the three dots over here and in the drop down choose the string variable the one you created when you choose make sure that all values are chosen don't uncheck anything we are going to dynamically control in the next screen based on the selection country what is the background we need to apply based on us what is the background we need to apply so over here i'm retreating you don't uncheck anything Just check all default click okay now as you see over here this is called conditional state against the sales column the style variable what you associated for that we are going to dynamically control the background of the color click on the conditional state and choose india if it is india i want to apply the background color is nothing but i'm going to make green apply and i want to make the foreground color is white i'm good and again you go back to the conditional state and choose us if it is us i want to apply the background color this time i'm going to make instead of red i'm going to make maroon click ok and the foreground i'm going to choose white there you go you see that the same 
conditional style how I applied using the conditional style option the same one I was able to achieve using the style variable based on the US and India I'm good let's save this report what is the third one which I want to showcase in this demo is a report style variable over here you see that my report title is in English what I need to do based on my language selection in the Cognos connection my preference I want to change my report title accordingly in order to do that you have to create another style variable that is called report language variable to create the conditional style variable you can do it in two ways as I shown in the last time you can either choose against the column which you want to apply the conditional state choose that go to the properties page and choose the style variable the other method is you can go to the report and click on the variables as we have created style variable uh, string country check this time I'm going to create a report language variable just drag and drop from left to right and choose what are the languages against you want to enable the multilingual support the multilingual support I want to enable for English and the other one I want to enable for Japanese choose the Japanese click OK and this label I want to change I'm going to keep this language variable as lang report title this can be any user friendly name keep this name I'm good just go back to the report page the pages condition formatting page and this is the one I'm going to display now I need to apply the style variable on the report title based on the language selection so last time we applied the background color change against the country style variable that's why you picked up sales column in this case with the report language variable I'm going to change my report title dynamically based on the language selection what I do in my Cognos connection so here my target which I need to format is the report title choose the report title over here in the report properties page and in the right side I'm going to change my text based on the language selection so I have to choose text source variable not the style variable style variables are used for changing the background of the color or apply the different font such formatting things you can do using the style variable if you want to change the text of the source label in that case you need to choose text source variable and not the style variable click on text source variable choose the variable the one we created that is language report title keep everything selected don't uncheck anything click OK the moment you apply the text source variable you see that the existing label got wiped out and you need to provide the custom label against English the one which you are applying on the conditional state I'm going to apply for English first so choose English and the text I'm going to keep it country wise sales report this is my report title to be shown when English is chosen as a language I'm good now you go to the conditional state and now you choose Japanese for the Japanese what should be the title and the Japanese I'm going to keep before I provide the Japanese text let me open the Google Translate copy the report title what you want to translate from English to Japanese in the Google Translate you place it here and in the right side you choose the translation language I want to translate to Japanese choose Japanese there you go you got the translation script copy this UTF-8 character set that you converted from English to Japanese go back to your report in editing mode and paste the copied Japanese conversion click OK we are good now now you save the report and close the report and one more check we need to do go to the team content where you saved the report click on the three dots 
make sure the report is going to run every time you click on it it should not display the view most recent report output this is the by default selection so what happens when you go with view most recent report the report you ran first time is english and within five minutes you change to english to japanese as a language selection in that case it won't pick up the new selection what you made since your report is already cached in the archive so make sure you have changed this to run the report i'm good and if you see my language selection by clicking on the personal menu my preference and my content language is english with this you go to the team content run your report the one which you save it is showing as country wise sales report which is in english i am good it this is what expected close the report now you go to the personal menu my preference and this time i'm going to change my content language from english to japanese and when i choose japanese and again i go and invoke my report that should fetch the data with respect to japanese title okay i have chosen japanese here the content language i am good now you go back to the report the one which you already saved run this report as you see over here the report title in the top it got changed to the language what i have chosen in my cognos connection personal menu my preference and the content language so with this i'm going to quickly recap what we have done so far in the very first i have shown you how to enable conditional style based on the existing kpi that is sales kpi and second i have shown the similar conditional formatting using the style variable based on the existing column country based on the value us and india and third we have enabled our report to support multilingual language based on the language what you have chosen in the my preference content language accordingly my report title should dynamically change so we have seen all these three things in our today's exercise with this i'm going to end my recording until i come back with another interesting video this is saranan vajravel signing off from one touch bi have a good day and take care